All right, boys, check this out. So for the past month and a half, I've been working on my own game. And I know it might seem like I pulled this out of nowhere, but I've been learning Unreal Engine for a few months now. Temple of Light is a 30 minute puzzle game where you can manipulate blocks to redirect laser beams. Simple. So I made it under the assets, but all I wanted to do was learn programming and Unreal Engine. While I want to show you guys all the hard work I put into learning everything, I'm sure it's boring to explain the programming side of things, so instead, I'm gonna show you boys my friends' reactions to playing it. Also, just real quickly, I have a couple things to say at the end of the video, so if you could stay till the end, I would greatly appreciate that. <sighs> Moving on. What's this frame rate limit? Wait, look at this shit, look. Infinite power. All right, Wes, let's see what your game is all about. Okie dokie, Wes. Let's do this. I am trying out a game from Wes. This is his first game. Oh, yeah. Hit me with the cinematic graphics. <laughs> Nothing changed. <laughs> cinematic. Yeah, dude, wah, wah. No, dude, don't. No. I know. My PC was huffing. Nah, bro. I put it on low. Oh. I got to test this game on low. Oh. Holy hell, I need to... Okay, cinematic might have been a bad move. The world voted Chungus Obunga. It's my boy <laughs> Chungus. Chungus Obunga. I say Chungus. The world folded and the green mountain need. Uh, whoa. The world folded and the green mountain needed light to live. Chunga Obunga? What was it? <laughs> Muppets about to do this. Oh. Ah, so clearly we have to move this. There we go. Death laser. Yeah. Alright. This might be my last entry. <laughs> Hope I can open this door. <laughs> Hopefully he figured it out. I don't think... I don't think he did. I have no clue what I'm doing. Just doing it. Yes, I did think All of right. that. So you didn't want to get soft locked. I take the key with me. Oh. <laughs> All right then. I'm sorry. I had to. He said he'd be right back. Who? No. Wes. So the thing is still recording you. Whatever that means. He's recording this for his YouTube. What's up, Wes? If you see this when you're editing, you're dead. What? Oh, hell no! By the way, YouTube, I just want to let you know this is 3 a.m. at night we're doing this. Wes is uh, <laughs> holding us against our will. I'm in his basement. This might be my last time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're temple. There we go. Pretty self-explanatory, actually. You don't really need much to tell you what to do. Can the laser kill me, though? No. Okay. Now hold on. I, I know I can get up there. I'm assuming it won't let me bring this. Unless... <laughs> okay, fine. Have it your way then. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, why can't I uh, jump as high with the uh, blocks? Okay. For the record, Wes, uh, my goal is to break your game. Because I'm a good friend. Oh, don't judge me. <laughs> Bro, listen, bro. <laughs> it wasn't even hard, bro. I just wasn't thinking about doing that. Oh, it's dark as shit. But I think this. Wow. Oh. Oh. I you know I didn't even realize that, which is I by accident. Just gonna say that now. Yeah, I know puzzles. I'm just so good at this. Oh, <laughs> there's a border. I'm glad there was enough thought put into your you know, there's borders so you can't just wander off. I like the particle effects where it's just bouncing off of it. Those are cool. L, I'm free! No! This game's a <laughs> lie! It's a lie! Oh. Oh, not cool, Wes. Now we gotta power the lasers ourselves, dude? Okay, now here can I soft lock myself. Hmm, how do I go about this? Oh, yep. Soft lock! Yeah! <laughs> we love to see it. Ah, uh, why did my brain brain? 
There we go. 15 years later. And then you like that. Boom. I'm just so good at this, man. Oh dear. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This opens doors. The possibilities, they're, they're endless. All right, buddy, we're smuggling you through again. Okay, there we go. You know what, at this point, I don't even really care about getting out of bounds. I just want to bring my friend with me all the way to the end. Oh. What is all this? What is all this? Look at those Unreal Engine clouds. Looking like Ark. Oh la la. <laughs> Damn, that one was fucking gone. <laughs> okay, you can't have an outside world if I'm trying to explore it. Oh, it's invisible wall. Cool. Thanks. Nothing up there, nothing up there. There's one up there. Give me that. Yes, let's go. Oh my fucking god. What is this shit? Evidence box. I'm just gonna send this screenshot over to Wes real quick. Plop you in there. Wait, the tape. Could I have brought the tape all the way here? Oh my god, I'm so fucking good. Well, um, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be possible, but I'll take it. My eyes! Evidence box. Oh, very good, very nice. Nice little puzzle game, eh? Thank you very much. West sounds very nice. Here's some vape liquid sound just for you. Finally. Finally! Oh. Oh. Yes! Okay. Chungus Abunga. Okay. Wes, there's no way you. Okay. Screw you, Wes. I'm doing another run then. You. This might be my last entry. You're coming with me. No looky, no touchy. Oh, yeah. This is way more majestic now. Oh, I think, you know what? This is worth it. So you may have noticed that last clip was blurred, and that was intentional because in a link in the description, I want you to be able to download and play the game yourself and see what's hidden behind that door. So anyways, while my friends are playtesting the game, I try to fix the bug where you can carry the blocks through the destroy barrier, because come on hacker, you can't just break my game like that. So then I try to fix it, but then it kinda created a weird bug. So this, if it spawns back, it spawns back smaller. This tiny box! I'm gonna call you Tiny Box Tim. What the hell? But I became skilled enough in Unreal to where I just went ahead and fixed that bug. Perfect. I also had weird bugs like this where the laser creator didn't even spawn in, so I fixed that. And then one of the final things I worked on was for a message to pop up when you pick up the first cube. I added this feature in because most players didn't actually know how to rotate the cube throughout the game. Stupid. But yeah, that's my game. I mean, to be honest, this is some minimum viable product type sh**, but I'm proud of it. Thanks boys for watching or participating. Adios. Ciao.